Hey truck people, we're going to go through some photographs of western stars or white western stars. Truck and pony. Nice looking Kenworth in the background. Laid law, they're long gone. Used to have garbage bins, all kinds of stuff. Laid law environmental. And if anybody sees a picture in here that they took or someone took that they think they took, whatever, sorry, this is a buddy's collection. It is it filled up my whole truck, like totes, 17, 18, huge Rubbermaid totes. I'm just babysitting it. So hopefully nobody would get ticked off for an enjoying a truck picture. I'm just sharing them. I didn't take them. EAM, that's Emil Anderson Maintenance. Probably division of EAC, Emil Anderson Construction. That's not a BC setup, that one. Nahani, that's the guys that have built aluminum boxes and steel boxes forever around these parts. It was night. Carter, Reliance, Nahani, I've ridden in lots of those, well, a few of those ones, there's a company way back, not one person will remember, it was based out of Fort Langley, BC, a guy named Pete owned it, he had some of these yellow one and a green one and all the diamond tough vinyl inside them they were pretty sharp and Detroit diesels I think 15 speeds got to go for many a trip in those it was called P&M gravel supplies only a Fraser Valley lower mainland guys would know that name if they're even old enough to There's Jim Ralph. He's been around forever. He had a needle nose, I think a 1959 Kenworth too. Never really see that one around, but he hauled my dad and I's Hitachi 270 around back in the early 90s and, and throughout. There's a truck. Aero heavy haul truck. I did a article or a video on that a while back. I had one of their company brochures, it was quite interesting. There's an old girl.
I had the setback front axle. There was a few Western stars around here that had that. Is that this? Huh. Peja Vu. That's the same. Oh. Well. They paint any log and truck yellow and put some white and green on there and they look good. Like real good. I wonder if that's Ted Leroy trucking colors. It's somebody from the island that with the stripe. Uh, Mitsubishi. It's like a D6 or seven in behind it there. hydraulic thumb so that would be early 90s that machine was also probably would have been marketed right after that as a cat el 200 or maybe at the same time a cat el 180 or el 200 You never see that. It's got the Continental kit on the pony trainer. Yes, that's a joke. Malik and Mosley. Canada Coast Guard. I didn't know we had trucks. I know we have lots of coast. That's where the big timber grows. That logo is the township of Langley, BC. Typical city, probably middle of summer, close to, and that's still running the snow plow because the calendar said it's not time to take it off yet.
I'll go till all these are the same height here. A few more pages. And then I'll do a 50 50, two videos. You just don't see stuff like that on the road anymore. Because all the commercial truck inspectors here would see that as a fishing expedition day for them. So I think that's why everybody keeps everything so fancy and aluminum and polished and chrome. Just keep the truck police away. I see the beauty in these tired old working ones though. It's an oldie. Who knows what's in them for power? Oh, 318 Detroit. There's Jim again, hauling a buncher. Wonder if that's jeans, because that's a local truck, and there's kind of only one guy that had a buncher like that. I videoed it too some time back. I'd have to compare the pictures. And I think I'll stop this one here. Thanks for watching.